Well, part British spy thriller, part sci-fi, the new series, The Rook, will have you instantly hooked. Instantly. So the show follows a woman who discovers she's part of a secret agency for those with powers and no memory of who she is. Take a look. The person who hurt you betrayed you is right here. They know what they did, but I don't know who they are. My best advice to you, don't trust anyone. Oh, and the stars of The Rook, Emma Greenwell, Jolie Richardson, and Olivia Munn are here with us now. Welcome, ladies. Welcome. You, so you guys look great. I know. Oh, you're coordination all coordinated. Here. Okay. Suddenly we feel great because you said that. So thank you. <laughs> well, I love the concept of this show. Um, and Emma, you play um, Miffany, who loses got her memory. Yeah. Rhymes with Tiffany. <laughs> Rhymes with Tiffany. Was, I'm glad that was in there. Yeah, yeah. We were glad, too. Yeah. 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 I was very glad that that was in there. So how do Jolie and Olivia's characters fit into her world? So Jolie is effectively my boss. And mentor. And mentor. She is the head of the secret, the secret wing of British intelligence, the Cheque. And Olivia um, plays Monica, who's the American, <laughs> the only American yeah. that comes in. And we sort of develop um, an interesting relationship as the season goes on in terms of what we can help each other with in order to get the answers to the questions that we have. But definitely don't but trust anyone. Even mm -hmm. with, the, with the three of us, we're not sure. Not, yeah, none of us know exactly what the other one is playing mm. or at. So, so the roles keep shifting. So it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Yes. Definitely, yeah. even as actors. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Jolie, this is based on a fictional book, but your character, we're hearing Linda, is based on a real life person? Well, I don't know if she was. I think actually in the book, she's written as a very small character, and our writers developed her. But when I was thinking, how do I approach this? What would a woman like this be like? I studied Stella Remington who was the female head of MI5. Ah. So, so that was my choice. Nice. So Olivia, what was it about um, your character that drew you into this, this role? I, I love the world. You know, I loved, you know, from the first page in the script, you know, we, we open with, you know, Emma's character, Miffany, completely out, like, just has lost her memory, doesn't know who she is, doesn't know where she is. And I just thought that was just so captivating and compelling. And I just also love that the, the, the main characters in the show are all going for different objectives. Yeah. And so it was just a page turn so that everything was always interesting and compelling. And, um, and at some points when they start to cross over, you, you know, you do the thing where you're like, well, am I, can I trust them? Can I not? Yeah. I, just, I love that. And I love that my character was you know, a very strong person and her, her special ability is that she has extreme strength, but at the same time, she's heartbroken. So the duality of playing somebody that, you know, opens up with a, with a shattered heart and at the same time has to de dig down deep and find this inner strength to, to get the answers. Yeah, yeah. she's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so you said special strength, ability. ability. Yeah. Like, how do you all describe it? Because it, it, when we were talking with our producers, we were like, supernatural, paranormal. paranormal. Like, how do you all describe the, the abilities that some humans have in this show? I, I always thought the show is really rooted in, like, you know, humans and, like, the, the struggles that we have as people. And the, the supernatural element is very subtle. You almost don't really notice it, especially at the beginning. Sort of yeah. Like, the audio around was like, what is really happening? I was like, what power Exactly. And that sort of, it, it sort of elevates the story. And, you know, the, the, the amazing thing about the media, um, film and television, is you can use that sort of element to heighten things and yes. so it's, it's more that really. And one things. of our writers is a biologist and he believes in the power of energy that we've all talked about and I, I think that is proven. Yeah. So in terms of ESP and paranormal it is I, I think a, a lot many areas that have been proven to be correct. So you believe I believe in everyone. That. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I yes. am a believer. I hope I do. Yeah. I, know. <laughs> I hope it manifests well, we itself some in some way real soon. <laughs> yeah. And you got to film in your hometown which must have been nice too. Yeah well it was incredible because I've always been the person with the suitcase not being able to yeah. get home to friends and family which is what uh, Olivia had. I played time. that role. <laughs> yeah. 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 
<laughs> but no, it was amazing. It was, you know, and London looks so beautiful, apart from the River Thames, which looks the color of mustard. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, which I didn't know until you were watching back. Like, is that what it is? they put a funny filter? Why does it look like that? I can't wait to watch the rest of it. Thank you all so much. Thank you. You can watch The Rook when it premieres Sunday night on Stars. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Thank you.